Why would you call it a bathroom? There's not even a bath in there. There's not even a bath in there. We've got Bean as next. It's a trash can. Why would you call it a trash can? It sounds because you horrible. stick the trash in it. No, you put the rubbish in it. No, it's trash. It's rubbish. M Max, I could give you is garbage. Garbage? Absolutely not. Why would you say garbage? Garbage and trash are synonyms. You teach English, you should know this. Yes, but you call it trash. Well, rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you gave it to me, yes. Anyway, it's rubbish. The same way something that you don't like is rubbish because it's rubbish. Oh, that's garbage, you know? It's like that film was garbage. What? You say a film was garbage? Well, no. That's like I'm trying to give you something that you can oh. relate with. Okay. So you wouldn't say that, right? It would no, sound I'd say that better if I'd say... it's rubbish. No. Well, technically we say crap. That film was crap, oh. but... <laughs> Let's get to the next one, which is trousers. Now you tell me, what is your problem with trousers? They're pants. No, the pants. The pants, not pants. <laughs> like him. Pants, no, 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 not pants, as in like, you know, your two pants, give me your two pants, which exactly. by the way, I've never understood what a pence is. What is a pence? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I understand cents, I understand penny. Yeah, it's I like mean... a s penny cent pence. <laughs> it's like two set pennies. Alright, fine, fine. <laughs> So you just merge it together and call it pennies instead of two pens. Pennies. <laughs> That's how you call it, pennies. We just call it our two cents, you know, like throw your two cents in there. Yeah. Well, that's just difference in like coins and stuff. It's true. When we got rid of you, we got rid of your money too. Yeah. You know, first, first we got rid of the tea because we realized that coffee is better. Then we got rid of the government. Then we got rid of the money. Fair enough. You lost a lot though, because apparently the dollar is not as worthy as the pound. Is it? Yeah, alright, fine. Ah, oh, too fine. bad. Did that uh, hurt I you? <laughs> so we're talking about trousers and pants. That pants are the ones underneath the trousers. No, that's your underpants because they go under. But that's just because you've got this Flipping problem that you need to describe what it is instead of calling it. These are your correctly. pants, but who calls them outer pants? So you have the pants and the underpants. <laughs> well, you don't call it outer pants. You could just call it trousers. They're These trousers. are jeans. Trousers sounds like you're troweling something. You know, it sounds like I've got my trowel and I'm sitting here and I'm oh. scraping. You know, like it's not. cement for bricks. You know, <laughs> no, it's definitely not. And these are jeans. It's not even trousers. Why would you call jeans trousers See, or See, that's the beautiful thing, is pants includes both jeans and slacks. But why would you and do that? Slacks! Why would you call it slacks? It sounds so like slacks. <laughs> trousers are weird. Why trousers are weird? That's your regional, It sounds right? like, it sounds like, it's like saying jumper, you know? It's like, the jumper, jumper, the trousers, no. This is a jumper. No, see, when I think of jumper, I think of like, you know, the creepy guy in the alleyway that jumps out and grabs you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're going to jump her, that's why they call it a jumper. <laughs> no, my goodness, this is a flippin' jumper. That's a sweater. Why a sweater? I'm not gonna sweat in here, or anyway, that would no, call that, that... everything sweater, because I sweat in every of my clothes. Well... Sweats. Those are sweats, you know? You have your sweatpants and your sweatshirt. This is a sweater. Sweater is different. Sweater is lighter. Sweater is more formal, you know? It's less It's less casual. It still has the sweat word in it, which makes me think that I'm gonna sweat. In because it. it's made in a sweatshop in China. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, let's get on to flip flops, because you got an embarrassing name for it. Like. We do call them flip flops. We also call them sandals. Uh, and sandals. Sandals are not the flip flops. Sandals are like the ones, like they don't have that thing that wedges your f no, toes. No, no. Um, <laughs> see, the other name for them, it's not used as much anymore. It's it's the thong. But 
And it's named appropriately because it looks exactly like a thong when you look at your foot. However... Yeah, why don't you get a thong on your foot? However, people don't use it as much because when thongs started to actually become popular sometime around, oh, I don't remember, 2000s, early 2000s, it, it, it became less stylish because people started seeing butts when they looked at people's feet. <laughs> Let's get to our delicious biscuits then. Yes, I do love biscuits, especially with a good sausage gravy. <laughs> what the hell is that? Why would you eat a biscuit with a sausage gravy? You know. That's disgusting. No. You mix sweet with salt. No, they're both salty. No, no. they're not. Biscuits are about this round, they're about this tall, and they're flaky, buttery bread. You like not. pull them apart and you can either spread jam on them, none of this marmalade crap, like where does marmalade come in? Or you can do what my grandma used to do for me and make me biscuits and gravy. Delish. It's like, it is like the best meal ever. Change your life. Okay, on this one I'm gonna beat you down just because it comes from Latin. It's a Latin word for biscuits. Because even in Italian you say biscotti because it's a Latin word. So you just call it biscuit, not how you, what, how do you call it? The cookie. Oh yeah, well, well the cookie, yeah. Cookie is the cookie, with the one with the chocolate in it. No, that's the chocolate chip cookie. Why would you call it chocolate chip cookie? Because it has chocolate chips in it. There's also snickerdoodles, coconut macaroons, white, chick, white chocolate chip <laughs> macadamia nut. Why do you have to give them all a name? Just call them biscuits. Lemon bars. No, are you kidding me? I had an entire cookbook of just different types of cookies growing up. Exactly, just call them biscuits. But now, try and explain to me why would you change the biscuit, which is a Latin word. It's even older than all of us. Well, most English words are older than both me, you and me here. You know, you realize that yes. between the two of us, we don't even hit 60. I meant America and England. <laughs> That's what I meant. Biscuit is a Latin word, so it comes before, even before England. Chips. Oh, here we go again. They're French fries. Get over your obsession of hating the French. They helped us. We beat you. They took it as, an, as a forever middle finger to the English flag. We get it. You don't like it. You know, there's Doritos, there's Lay's, there's like cheddar cheese ones, there's sour cream and onion, there's lightly salted, there's salt and sea salt and vinegar. I like wedges, but not the chips. No, 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 those are, okay, you have potato wedges, mm -hmm. yes, you have tater tots, mm -hmm. you have french fries. No, chips. No. <laughs> no, chips were made by the Irish, okay? Irish? Yes, the very first potato chips. Exactly. was trying to cut some french fries and she made them too thin and they came out completely crispy and for that they were called chips thank you for telling me my history and that's why we call them chips and not flipping french fries no no no, no. see when i say chips you need to think crisps what you call crisps are what i call chips yeah that's a bit confusing because i call crisps the one in the package, you know, like... That's what I'm talking about. Chips are the ones in the package. You've got sour cream... And crisps! And... No, those are chips! They even say on the package, crisps! I have plenty of packages that say chips. Well, just because you're an American, you say it the wrong way! Next one... Uh... Oh, we finished them all. <laughs> no, we didn't talk about the yard. Oh, You, you call it a garden. Why do you call it a garden? You stick flowers or maybe vegetables in a garden. You don't stick grass. We call it lawn as well. Lawn I can give you, but it's a yard. Why a yard? When you talk about yards, I think about football field, American football field. Well, because it's measured by the yard. You know, you have the length, and then, you know, the yard is where you take your stroll. Yeah, but... You go for a stroll through the yard. I mean, even prisons have yards. So why flowers and not grass? You specifically take time to pull the grass out of a garden that's called weeding. Trust me, my mother had a garden. It was pretty big and she made me weed it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you got a problem though. Because I personally see it, like in our, in our gardens, we do put flowers. And like, if you go to my mother-in-law, she's got flowers on the left side and she got fruits and vegetables on the right side as well in a little thing. So we do have these things in the garden. 
And I'm pretty sure you got that too as well, in some of them at least. Well, I mean, you know, th there are fruit and vegetable gardens, and then you have flower gardens, but you don't have grass gardens. That's, That's a, the You art. don't need to specify, it's just called garden. Then if you have flowers, good for you. If you have potatoes, good for you. No, no, no. See, if you don't want to specify, you call it the yard. But why yard? See, why the yard? lawn is just where there's the grass. The yard is both the garden and the lawn. Oh my goodness. The yard? The yard is just a flipping word to, call, to give measurements. How many yards did you do today? I've got ten yards. No, I mean, you know, yards... It's about the sense of feeling accomplished. Look at my front yard, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, I've got the well manicured lawn, I've got the beautiful flower garden. I like my garden. It's a yard. It's a flipping garden. It's a yard. It's a garden. Anyway, guys, we hope you liked this video. Even if we had to suffer this American here today. And... <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this time that we spent together. We just want to let you know we are friends. So yeah, so we don't really hate each other. We don't really hate I mean, countries. Go, go easy with that. I mean, there was a couple of times where I wanted to say a line and then I remembered there was nobody there to give me a line. I mean, how can you ask somebody to show business and not have like a line prompter for them? But um, you know, I, th there is one thing, there is one gift I want to give to you, you know, for all of America, to all of Great Britain. Enjoy your Brexit.